in over 100 countries in seven different languages to more than a half billion viewers each week. The World Wrestling Federation, the worldwide leader in sports entertainment. nightmare and send you packing where you belong too, pal. And Owen, since you're the baby, if you need a pacifier to suck on, come see Triple H, because I'm sure I got one for you. Oh, come on. Good grief. Well, they're, they're amusing themselves, aren't they? Now let's get to The Undertaker. Of course, the casket match set for the Royal Rumble, Sean versus The Undertaker, January 18th. Undertaker, you couldn't beat me the first time, you couldn't beat me the second time, and believe me, the third time is not gonna be a charm for you. 
at Hell in the Cell, I beat you like a red-headed stepchild. What? How about 18 stitches, Sean? You remember that? And Undertaker, you can ask any woman in the world. The Heartbreak Kid does not rest in peace. As a matter of fact, he can stay up all night. Uh, oh! Dice lives. Now, just as we promised, here we go. The Generation X is gonna give you, the fans of the World Wrestling Federation, a special yeah, Christmas yeah. present. Oh. That's, that's not too bad. That's uh, those holiday boxers. I think that'll pass our sensors. On behalf of the Generation X, we would like to wish you wait, wait a, a very oh no, wait a minute, wait, 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 there we go. Merry Christmas. You look at those nuts. But yeah, they're crazy, JR. You knew they had to go there, and the crowd here loves it. And to all of you superstars of the world, Wrestling Federation, if you want, you can come out here and kiss us under the mistletoe. And you can take them up on that offer? I well, think I'd pass on that one. A DX debriefing. Now that's a pair of stocking stuffers to crowd to right there. So good. Talk about your jingle oh, bells. so big for that matter. <laughs> Put that Yuletide log in your fireplace. Um, well, I think... look out. Oh, oh, here comes Sergeant Slaughter to Blitz. He's been in boot camp for a long time, so I strongly suggest we put our robes on and not drop the soap. Commissioner Slaughter heading to the ring. Wonder what Christmas present he has for uh, Degeneration X tonight. Degeneration X, since it's so close to Christmas, and I'm in the Christmas spirit, I have a present for both of you two degenerates. Three. We love presents. Shawn Michaels, you have not defended your European title in 30 days. 30 days, at least. In fact, you haven't defended that title in over 60 days. That's more like it. I've been busy, in case you haven't noticed, Chump Change. I'm the World Wrestling Federation Champion, and don't you forget it. Well, while I'm still in the Christmas spirit, you're either going to defend that title here tonight on Raw wow. against an opponent of my choosing, or I'm going to strip you of that title here tonight on Raw. First of all, the Heartbreak Kid isn't afraid to be stripped of anything, in case you haven't noticed, Nimrod. But the fact of the matter earlier. is, I don't give away belts for anybody. I will defend this title against anybody, anywhere, anytime, pal. Could be Slaughter's Revenge tonight for Degeneration X. Well, okay, Shawn Michaels, the showstopper, the main eventer, yada, yada, your yada. opponent tonight will be Hunter Hurst. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not what they wanted. Merry Christmas, Shawn. Slaughter Claus has spoken. You're wrestling him for the title right here tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, you are. A treat for the fans. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the destruction of D-Generation X could occur right before our it very eyes right here tonight. What you're huddling up and talking about, you're either going to defend the title tonight against him or I'm taking the title away from you. It's non-negotiable. Wow. Would Sean's ego get in the way? Would he actually fight his only friend in the World Wrestling Federation? We're obviously discussing that now, huddling up. I bet Sean hands the belt over. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't want to face Triple H. Listen, I know all you're trying to do is ruin DX right before Christmas. You're trying to ruin Shawn Michaels' Christmas with me beating him and taking the European title from him right before Christmas. I can see what whoa, you're trying to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 
I was uh, I was with you up until the point where you said you'd uh, you'd beat me. Little animosity uh, now. With all due respect, Triple H, you don't get to wear a belt on each shoulder by being a loser. A rift, a possible rift. In so, DX. in case you don't know, maybe you should ask around because the heartbreak kid doesn't lay down for anybody. It's been set for tonight, folks. What a Christmas present could it be? The destruction of D-Generation X, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, the European Championship on the line. China, she's caught in the middle. But whose side is she going to be on? Plus, Michaels is still to come. On Raw tonight, the phenom of the World Wrestling Federation, The Undertaker, will face the Intercontinental, the champ, The Rock. We're ready for our first match, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes one half of the headbangers, Thrasher. He'll be facing off against here tonight against one of the Godwins, Henry Godwin, a, a few that is steaming over from Shotgun Saturday night. And um, this should be a match that we should all be very much anticipating for. Just before this uh, match here, we saw DX out in the ring with with the commissioner of the WWF, Sergeant Slaughter. And tonight, we have a huge contest here. And uh, this is getting a little bit of an early Christmas present between Triple H and Shawn Michaels for the WWF European Championship. And um, I guarantee you, I, I just guarantee you, DX will implode here tonight. And I just can't believe on what what is DX going to do here? Who's, whose side is China going to be on? China is stuck in the middle between these two here. But despite that, that is our main event here tonight. But right now, we are going to see the Headbangers versus the Godwins here. And actually, like it says, it's going to be one half of the Headbangers here. You can see Thrasher in the ring here. And he's going to be facing off against Henry O. Godwin. I mean, these two tag teams here, you know, these, you know, they, even though it is a singles match here, this could give the momentum to the tag team itself. And the tag team could possibly be down the line for a title shot if they do win here tonight. You see there, Henry Godwin there in the yellow. Phineas Godwin in the red. And these two men here are very tough. Former WWF tag team champion, so are the headbangers here. So we got two former WWF Tag Team Champions here in a singles match of Thrasher versus Henry Godwin. And this should be a great match to open up our Christmas edition of Monday Night Raw. And turn away. You can see here that the Henry Godwin is a lot bigger than Thrasher here. But Thrasher is going to use his quickness here early on. In this match, the uh, European uppercut. Thrasher is trying to use quickness there. You loot that press and some punches there. And he's looking to take the advantage here on Henry Godwin. Oh, look at, oh God, look at that. Look at that strength there by Godwin. He can certainly turn a match around in seconds. Watch in the back. Forearm shot, another forearm shot. Close line to the back there. A little bit later tonight, we will be seeing The Undertaker versus The Rock. We'll be seeing Mark Merrill in action. We also will be seeing D'Lo Brown versus Ken Shamrock. And again, we have our main event of the D Generation X possibly imploding tonight. With Shawn Michaels versus Hunter, Hurst, Helmsley, Triple H for the European Championship. Shawn Michaels has not defended that European title in, in somewhat over 60 days, according to Sergeant Slaughter there. And uh, we have this match going right here. Here we go. Oh my God! You never seen anything like that before. It looked like you did like a, 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 like a belly back suplex on the ring apron there, but it looks like Thrasher recovered quite well. Uh, 
three count here. Look at this here. Look at, oh, look at this. Oh, look at Phineas Godwin. Come on. Referee, that's a, that's a disqualification. He touched him. No, no, oh my god. He got put to a press slam. No. We're at count of five here. Get in the gut. Doctor, oh, get in the gut. Oh, Jesus. Now back in the ring. A competitive match to start off Monday Night Raw here tonight. Look at that kick. Look in the, look in the gut there. Look at oh, Phineas Godwin again. He is distracting. And look at this here. DDT! DDT out of nowhere! And I can do it! Will Thrasher! Pick up the win here over here. We win that's a two, that's a two count. You couldn't believe it. Certainly I can't believe it either. Rasher stand up for something else here. And what's it gonna be? It's gonna be, get some into a fireman's carry here. Oh my God, what a maneuver there. Look at the leg. Oh my god, look at this. Look at that. Another distraction there. He's working for another pitfall. Come on, ref. He's, oh, he's throwing him out. The referee is throwing out. Finney is going. Still with the pitfall. And the referee's not counting. What's the referee doing? Oh, come on. The referee's refusing to count. Oh, oh God! Spine buster out of nowhere. Yeah, there. Into to the mid rope. Coming now. With elbows into the head. Of Henry Godwin, there's a pinfall. Could that do it? There's a one, there's a two, and there's a three. Thrasher from the Headbangers wins this match tonight. What an opening contest here on Monday Night Raw. And as you can see there, that DDT we thought did it right there. Thrasher, very impressive here tonight on Monday Night Raw. There's a one, there's a two, and there's a kick out right there. So let's go for the pitfall again. Referee threw out. Benny has got one right there. Referee did not want to count for a reason he didn't want to count. I have no idea what the referee was seeing or doing right there, but but that ends the match right there. There's double elbows to the head of Henry Godwin. And that did it for the one, the two, the three pinfalls, the velocity, the, the, the stiffness of those elbows has won. Thrasher here, the opening contest here on Monday Night Raw. We'll be right back in a moment. We'll hear from Mankind, who's in the boiler room right now on Monday Night Raw. I'm somewhere in the bowels of the building. I know what you're thinking. Here's Mankind. Jumping a dude loves defense, and why don't you just let him fight his own battles? You see, there's an interesting phenomenon that occurs when you break dude loves ribs. Mine hurt too, and I don't want to spend this holiday season in pain. I want to drink eggnog around the fire. I want to make the Yuletide day. So New Age Outlaws. I do feel at this time of year, it is better to give than to receive. And I will give you the beatings of your life. And you will receive them. It's the fight before Christmas. Have a nice day. Road Dogg and Billy were not wise men in crossing the dude love. You and Ty beatings are coming up. JR, speaking to the holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Monday Night Raw. Ready for our second contest of the night here and this is going to be a huge one here comes the new wwf Intercontinental champion 
Here it comes. The Rock down to the ring. Although the title is not, I repeat, not on the line tonight. He is going to go up against his biggest competitor, literally, that he's probably ever faced in the WWF. That being The Undertaker. The young, brash, Rocky Maivia, I mean The Rock, The Rock, sorry. He's here, and deservedly so, he did not win the Intercontinental Championship. It was awarded to him by Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon. What is this? What is this? Yeah, like you won the damn thing. He is so lucky that this title is not on the line here tonight. Otherwise, otherwise I think this would be a different story. I think we'll have a new Intercontinental Champion walking out of here. Yo, God, it got cold here. It got cold in the arena just like that. You can see my breath right now. Here it comes. The Lord of Darkness from Death Valley. The brother of his, of his demonic brother Cain comes the Undertaker. A rare Monday Night Raw appearance from The Undertaker. Nevertheless, a rare match on Monday Night Raw from The Dead Man. He is looking to, to have a match here against The Rock here. I don't know what his intentions is. If he wants to go out for the Intercontinental Championship. If he just wants to bury The Rock. I'm not sure. Look at the evil that is personified evil from the Undertaker. Remember last week? Again, Paul Bear just verbalizing, abusing the Undertaker, saying he will fight his brother Kane. And again, the Undertaker refuses to fight his brother Kane. But he will fight tonight. It's not against his brother Kane, it will be against the Rock. Here in a Christmas edition of Monday Night Raw. If you didn't get the gifts that you want, you got a big gift coming right here, right now. Rock versus The Undertaker, starting right now. The Undertaker has some hits up frustration there. Look at those right hands, those overhand rights. Knocking down The Rock. Rock. Undertaker into the corner there. Get it. Undertaker. Undertaker. This is one of snake eyes. Nation's out here in the ring. Oh, big boot. Taker. Oh, into a backbreaker. This is early. Oh, he's choking him. He's choking him. He's choking him. He's choking him. Tell the Undertaker has some pins up frustration off the ropes and big hip toss there by the Intercontinental Champion. He is trying to get back control this match here very quickly here. And what's it gonna be? Side rush next week in the chest. Rock saying, Bring it. Rock is saying, Bring it. Look at that overhand. Uh, you want you to see on the Undertaker, kid. You got to stay on the other side. Oh, my God. Look at that close line. My God. This is going to be here, Undertaker. Oh, man. Just, just, just brings him out to the middle of the ring. Look at, look at Faruga. Look at D'Lo Brown. They are both discussing what they're seeing here. Look at that. Choking him. Choking him with this, with this big right boot. Oh. God, the Undertaker with a big mean streak here. If I ever saw one in the corner. Another big clothesline. Rock's in trouble. Rock is in trouble. 
Like I said, I don't think he's ever in this rock. Up the ropes again. Back body drop. My God, you can see D'Lo Brown's face on the outside. It's like, he can't believe what's going on. Oh, oh my God. Huge right hand. The rock. He's taking a breather on the outside of the Undertaker. The Undertaker's feeling it. The Undertaker's turn around. Oh. Turn around, take her. Oh no! In the corner. And the rock comes back. Oh, what a close line. Look at Dino Brown. Dino Brown's not looking like he just won the Super Bowl. Only a one count. That is not going to take care of the Undertaker. And the Undertaker's up. The Undertaker's up. Look at this. The Undertaker has the rock. Coming down. And the Undertaker says the end is near. What's it gonna be? Tomb, is it gonna be for a Tombstone? Here we go, Tombstone, Tombstone, Tombstone. Just got put up. Oh God, wait a minute. Another, don't tell me this again, no. Another chapter in Paul Bear's prophecy. My oh God, what in the hell? Here he comes. Here comes Kane, the younger. Last week we saw Kane slap the Undertaker. Undertaker did not retaliate. I invite the entire world to feast your eyes upon your phenom. Look at him. I don't believe that. I'll never believe I that. I gave you one last chance last week, dead man, to step up and face your brother. And what did you do? You tucked tail and ran. I don't think he ran. He refused to fight his brother, as he said all along he would not do. I have to say that I am totally ashamed to say that I ever had anything I'm sure the feeling is mutual. I can't believe that I once stood by your side so proud and called myself your friend. Look at the look You're the nothing face. anymore. Nothing at all. And what's so sad, your poor parents are celebrating oh. this holiday season with the maggots and the worms. Good God. Oh, no. Come on. Look out! He went for Paul Bear. Kane, Kane. Kane's a, a attacking his brother. Wait a oh, minute! He's gonna fight back. Did he take Taker? Did he take his head enough? He oh didn't. no! He had a chance to. He didn't do it. Kane, Kane hands. Kane is hammering. It battered his brother. The Undertaker refusing to Are fight you back. Fight back, Phenom. Come on, you bitches of the night. Look at your Phenom. Kane pummeling.
for our next max ladies and gentlemen and here it comes I, I don't even want to know I don't even know, want to know what to say marvelous Mark Merrow my god just just the way that he treats that young lady Sable is just just utter disgusting he's just walking to the ring she's like 15 feet behind him not even paying her any attention just just brutal. Just absolutely brutal. It's going to be himself against your local competitor here tonight. But I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, he thinks he's the best. He thinks he's one of the best ever to do it. But the fact of the matter is he's a piece of crap. The fact of the matter is that Mark Merrill is a piece of crap. And that he needs somebody... Somebody to shut him up once and for all. Here we go. Mark Merrill. Match on the way. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's up against a local. Oh, my goodness. Look at the face of this local competitor. He has no idea what the heck is going on. Oh, need. Yeah, yeah, you're a bad man, aren't you? Merrill. The early advantage here on this little Cabrera man. This little Cabrera has no hair on his body whatsoever. Sable is actually clapping on the outside. I mean, no matter what, I believe that. Oh, oh my God! Huge flapjack. I think no matter what, I mean these two are still in love with each other. And that belly to belly suplex. My God, he's just toying with this, with this young, young man. Ah, oh, hip toss. He's on him. He is on him like white on rice, as the kids say. That big right hand. He's picking him up. What's this gonna be here? Arm drag from the top rope. All right, in the match. In the match. Front neck snap. He's just standing over him. What is it gonna be here? Damn DDT. Huge DDT there. By Mark Merrill. This is gonna be, oh look at this, oh look at this! Reversal there by the kid! This kid! He's gonna... Oh God! My guy really thought, I really thought this kid had, had a chance there. Looks like I got my hopes up. What is it gonna be here? This is going to be... 
A bunny back suplex from the top rope. My God, you can forget about it, ladies and gentlemen. No one in their right mind will kick out of that. Mark Merrill with a, with a decisive win here tonight, here on Monday Night Raw. But well, honestly, does this does this mean anything? Does this prove anything? He says he's the best in the world. It doesn't show me anything. All this shows me is that you can punish somebody who is three times the size of you. Doesn't mean shit to me. But Mark Merrill does win here tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Can't doubt that. Can't doubt that whatsoever. Coming up next. We'll be hearing from Triple H in the locker room. Let's see what he has to say. Coming up right now. Mark Merrill again with the victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, standing by in this locker room is Triple H. And do you realize that within the hour, you're going to get it on with your best buddy? You're damn right it's less than an hour away. If this is what Shawn Michaels wants, this is what Shawn Michaels is going to get. What do you mean I have nothing to prove by kicking his ass? Of course I do. He's always out here. Oh, I'm the show staff. I'm the icon. I'm the main event. I got everything to prove. Yeah, well, I mean, I got my lucky shirt on, but so what? Shawn Michaels, you've got... Unless I have nothing to prove by kicking his ass. He had knocked Helmsley's noggin off. And folks, that match will happen tonight. Michaels and Helmsley for the European title. Well, ladies and gentlemen, standing by in this locker room is Triple H. And do you realize that within the hour, you're going to get it on with your best buddy? You're damn right it's less than an hour away. If this is what Shawn Michaels wants, this is what Shawn Michaels is going to get. What do you mean I have nothing to prove by kicking his ass? Of course I do. He's always out here. Oh, I'm the showstopper. I'm the icon. I'm the main event. I got everything to prove. Yeah, well, I mean, I got my lucky shirt on, but so what? Shawn Michaels, you've got a lesson to be taught, and I'm going to teach it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Monday Night Raw. And we are here to see the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock, in action versus D. Low Brown from Nation Domination. Earlier, we saw The Rock earlier tonight against The Undertaker, and the aftermath of that match is the entire story. Kane came out to the ring with The Undertaker and they had a confrontation and it was something to behold for sure. But here we go. You can see the, the world's most dangerous man who had a match against Shawn Michaels at D-Generation X in your house who got screwed at winning the WWF Championship. He's looking to, to get back on the right track to possibly get another match against Shawn Michaels down the road for the WWF Championship. But he's going to have his hands full tonight against one half of the nation and domination, the young, the brash, the cocky, the charismatic D'Lo Brown. Here comes D'Lo Brown making his way to the ring here. And you can just see the swagger on him. The Rock is not with the Nation of Domination for some reason. I mean, well, he, he got nearly got tombstone by The Rock. He's probably recovering, or I'm sorry, by The Undertaker. The Rock was nearly tombstone by The Undertaker. Still probably trying to recover from that. But um, Rook is out here with D'Lo Brown. You can see that he is ready. He is ready for a big match here tonight against Ken Shamrock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ken Shamrock versus D'Lo Brown. Here we go. Match is on the way. Oh, 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 kick. Oh, my God. This leg kicks. Leg kicks there by Ken Shamrock. And that's the thing that D'Lo Brown is going to need to do. He's going to need to stick and move against Ken Shamrock because he can't strike with Ken Shamrock. Cannot outpower Ken Shamrock. He may be able to, to out quick him. Oh, oh my god, 
Neil Brown was going for something there. And he can't Shamrock comes back around with a tornado DDT. And look at the Rook, Rook is. Goes back a little where he looks shook. And Shamrock is. He's on a rapid pace right now against D'Lo Brown. Picks him up. Snake Eyes. And look at for, for Rook. Rook is trying to distract. Ken Shamrock here. He is distracting him. What is this? Oh, no, no. D'Lo Brown. Oh, he, he distracts him off. Belly the back suplex. Drops him around his head. Off the ropes. Leapfrog. Underneath. Underneath again. And I don't know what D'Lo Brown was doing right there. Should have done a move right there, but didn't. My God, look at that there. Fisherman suplex. Only for one count. And this is gonna be snap suplex there. Float over, burn up him for one. Another one count. Yeah, Shamrock. Oh man, big knee lift, big knee lift. Right to the chest of the youngster. Off the ropes, big ball's eye. Oh yeah, Farouk, Farouk's coming over. Can't share him again. Don't, think, don't get him to squat by Farouk. What is this gonna be here? Oh no, D'Lo, another move there. Oh my God, power bomb. Using the ropes there, that could have killed. Can't Shamrock. But luckily there's a rope right there. Look at the elbow. Shamrock, oh. Forearm, stiff forearm there. What is it gonna be here? Oh my god, wrap, oh my god, he's wrapping his ankle. Grab his ankle and throw around the, the ropes there. Look at that there. Oh my god, belly to belly suplex. Will that do it? One. Only one count. Oh. Oh no, he's snapping. He is snapping. Yeah, what's it gonna be here? No. Ah. Roof, roof tosses in the chair for some reason. Who is there? Oh my god, we're on the chair! Scoops them around the chair! And for Rook could cause D Lo! Oh no, maybe not. Big knee up there. And DDT. And Shamrock, what is he doing? He's going to the top rope. Don't see this very often. From Ken Shamrock, what is it going to be here? A splash from the top rope. Can that do it? That's a two. And that's a three. Unbelievable. Ken Shamrock wins with a top rope splash on to D. Whoa. Brown. Let's hear the, the near falls here in this match here. Snap suplex. Look at that power bomb there. Well, that was a rope break. You can see Shamrock's left foot on the ropes. Belly to belly suplex by Ken Shamrock. They got a two count here. Very competitive match here. But Ken Shamrock. And Shamrock with that scoop slam right on the stair. Oh my god. And that right there was another two count. I thought that was it. Actually, it was a one count, my mistake. But he is with a splash to win here tonight. Can't Shamrock with the victory here over D Lo Brown here on Monday Night Raw. And, you know, he's on the great track to. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? The Rock? Oh, there's The Rock. Good timing, Rock. Shut up. Well, you heard that. You know something, Ken Shamrock? You damn sure are lucky with the last name Shamrock because, Kenny, at the snap of my fingers, the nation can get in that ring and 
chew you up. <laughs> oh, The Rock's pretty bold right now. He's got some but you know what? Hey, The Rock's a compassionate man. The Rock's a very giving man. As a matter of fact, just on a side note real quick, I know a lot of The Rock's fans like to know how The Rock exactly feels about the Gulf crisis. What? What? Well, actually, the, it's a very emotional subject for The Rock, and The Rock feels this way. It's a, well, then again, that doesn't really matter. I'll get back to that some other day. The Gulf crisis really isn't that important. But what is important... Follow the example of your head, come to the point. Everybody calls you the world's most dangerous man. And for good reason. He's earned it. I'm sure, yeah. You're the king of the UFC. Well, everybody knows the UFC ain't nothing but has-beens and never was. Just like yourself. So, again, The Rock's a compassionate man. So during the holiday season, The Rock has got a special Christmas gift given to you. And that is a special challenge from The Rock, don't ever touch me, from The Rock to Ken Shamrock. And that is to face me one-on-one -on -one at the Royal Rumble 1998. What? What? <laughs> hey, so not only that, rock. you also got another special little gift from The Rock. So not only are you going to face The Rock, but The Rock is going to put his undisputed intercontinental title on the line. Yuck! What a matchup! Huh. What is he so thinking? So The Rock and the rest of his fans ponder your response, I've got one question for you. Do you have the guts? Comadillo. I don't think Peru. there's any doubt about that Come answer. On. Does Shamrock have Thank the guts to much. go for a championship? In about one second he does. What a Christmas gift for Ken Shamrock. Not only will Ken Shamrock be in the Royal Rumble match itself, but Shamrock's also going to wrestle Rock. Thing now, folks, I send you back to Shawn Michaels locker room. Son, things inside DX certainly seem to be getting ugly, don't they? Damn right, it's getting ugly. The ugliest thing about this Generation X is you, Triple H. I'm going to take care of you once and for all. I know I've got another brew on the World Wrestling Federation Champion, the coveted European Champion, but still, Triple H is going to lesson to learn, and I'm going to have to teach it to him, you know that. I know I've got my life shirt on, but the fact of the matter is, I'm still going to have to go out there and smack him around. Well, we can see the total destruction of D-Generation X right here tonight, because still to come, Shawn Michaels will defend the European title against Triple H. Ladies and gentlemen, the craziest night of Monday Night Raw that I've seen in a long, long time is finally going to come to an end here with our main event here tonight. And it is for the WWF European Championship. D-Generation X will implode tonight. You can see just the... Just, just the, the animosity that's being shown between... Triple H and Shawn Michaels. And for some reason, Shawn Michaels says Triple H cannot beat him. Triple H says that Shawn Michaels talks too much. Well, something is going to happen here tonight. Can't believe it. Can't believe this is actually going to happen. Can't believe this is actually going to go down. Between these two men. Triple H. I mean, he's, drinking, he's drinking from a water bottle for some reason. I don't know why, but this is a very different entrance here. Different music from Triple H. And it seems like his turn from D-Generation X is, is complete. And at the beginning of the night, they were they're buddy buddy, as usual. I don't know, I don't know what is he doing here. It's a lot of water he just spat out of his mouth. Oh, the spotlight's on him. What, what kind of music is this? Time to play the game? Triple H. He's ready. He's getting the crowd pumped up. Seems like the crowd is on his side for some reason. Look at all that. Look at that. Closing on the top rope there.
Triple H is ready. He is ready. He is ready to take the European Championship away from the man who won the European Championship from the British Bulldog back in October. It's been over 60 days. He is ready. And it is time for the match. And, and there's China. I was just about to ask, where's China at? She usually, you know, you know the relationship with China and uh, Triple H, but China is with Shawn Michaels coming down to the ring. Look at that. Shawn Michaels coming on down to the ring here. Ready to face off against Hunter Hearst Helmsley for the European Championship to close this Christmas edition of Monday Night Raw. Tom Michaels is ready. He is ready for a match here tonight. And it's going to be. A classic. We got four more introductions here from a very, very young JoJo. Triple H. And here we go. San Antonio, Texas. The WWF champion and the European champion and his title will be on the line here. The heart great kid Sean Michaels. Sean Michaels will be looking at the European championship for the last time. Triple H is looking at the he could win the title here tonight. Triple H. Shawn Michaels. Here we go. Match on the way. Irish whip. By Triple H. Look at this here. What is this? One. Triple H is running around right now. Two. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Three. Here comes Shawn Michaels. One. What is this? Two. Are they not going to hook up with each other in the ring? What's going on? Walking in circles. I, I I don't know what to make of this. China China's right there. She's trying to walk in front of Triple, Triple H. I have no idea what to make of this, ladies and gentlemen. They're back in the ring, and they're still circling each other. Shot Michael trying to attack them. Clearly missed. Shawn Michaels is usually on point with an attack like that. Yeah, but they're all taunting on the outside here. What is this? Wait, wait, they're both taunting each other. What, is, what the hell? Back in the range, Triple H. What is this? What is this? Shawn Michaels collapsed, fainted, and no! He fainted in the middle of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. And Triple H just pins him. And this is, look, look at, they're both celebrating the ring with each other. What the hell? Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels pretending China's pretending. 
This is stupid. They got us. They got us. He's oxygen. Slaughter. Standing there with egg on his face, eggnog or whatever. <laughs> well, he's good at crying on cue. It's a wonderful lie, isn't it? Ask George Bailey, not Shawn Michaels. You know, I... <laughs> Well, say it already! They did it. It's, you gotta it's, hand it to them. It's not easy. They thing. pulled the wool right over our eyes. He's defeated for the covenant. <laughs> They've done it again. <sighs> Is anybody out there as sick as I am of seeing the sport made a mockery out of by these guys? Matches. I've been in ladder matches. I've been in cell matches. I've been in marathon matches, but. Oh, they got us. Never has any, never has any match been so. Emotionally, physically, and mentally draining this, this one. Oh, you, He's, you lost him. Oh, I him in hand. He's lost his file. What has Slaughter got to be thinking about this? We've been duped. Slaughter. Slaughter made up. Well, they got I'd us just all. like to say one thing that other than my kid being born, well, I don't have one that I know of. But oh. this is the greatest moment of my life. You suck! I did it! I did it! Well, we all, we all thought Slaughter had everything planned and was gonna. And we didn't need any help from us, Sarge. But we made an ass out of you anyway. He did. Merry Christmas. Now, I gotta admit it. They did it. Merry Christmas, Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, now Europe has a champion that they can really be. Next week, you'll be defending your champion. Did you hear that? Merry Christmas. What? Slaughter just said that next week, Hoseley will be defending the European title against Owen Hart.